so hello guys welcome back to our project library management system so in our previous video we did the code for add staff button uh, as you can see over here we did the code for uh, add staff button okay and today in this video we are going to uh, do the code for uh, remove books okay so let's start our code so first of all we will have to create a new gui form okay uh, from here jprint and next and give the name over here as remove books and click on finish so let's see the design first so i have kept the design very simple okay just a, I've, I've taken just a label over here and in this label i have uh, given a message like uh, enter book id or book name to delete so what we are going to do over here is that uh, we will be deleting the uh, like any book from the library on the basis of their name or their book id okay because these two are the unique thing okay uh, for any book so uh, the user can uh, i mean the admin can uh, give either the book id or the book name in order to delete that book from the library okay so i am taking that input over here in this text field okay so this is the text field t1 and the button uh, we have two buttons over here delete and cancel delete will uh, obviously delete the book from the library if it is present in that uh, i mean there there may be cases where the book id or the book name is wrong okay so in that case uh, like uh, no book will be deleted so yeah uh, that we will see in our code in this delete button and the cancel button will obviously cancel this like delete this window and will go back to the dashboard okay so yeah let's see the uh, code for delete button first so see for delete button uh, first of all uh, yeah first of all you have to like uh, import these things okay i'll just remove this one this doesn't mean anything over here because i have already given this uh, thing dot star it will like obviously uh, this one is also of no use so i'll remove this as well okay so after that in this uh, uh, buttons code first of all obviously we have to create the connection okay so we are taking the url over here the user account that's root for me and the password that has set in my mysql so you have to use your own password and the input t1 dot get text this one and see uh, the data type of uh, name and book id in the mysql table was of varchar okay uh, varchar so we are taking here as string okay so string input is equal to t1 dot get text and this is the query that we are going to execute okay so that query is delete from books this is the table name okay where this is the condition part okay so where book id either the book id is equal to the input given by the uh, admin or it should be equal to the uh, name okay so that's why we have used this query okay so delete from uh, table name as books where book id either the book id is equals to input okay uh, or name is equals to input as uh, input so this is the query now in the try block first of all we are creating the connection so connection con is equals to driver manager dot get connection url user and password and statement we are creating the statement so statement stm is equal to call dot create statement and here in rows is equal to stm dot execute update query so why this okay uh, like we used this in our previous uh, one as well so just i'll explain it once again so see we have to like uh, update the table okay so in order to update like to use these kind of update uh, uh, like queries we we use this execute update method okay so and the query is passed over here so what does it return it returns the number of rows 
that uh, got affected due to this uh, query okay so uh, that number of rows is uh, returned into this rows okay so if the number of rows is greater than zero then then we can say that uh, the query was uh, successful and some of the rows has been uh, like updated okay but if it is zero if, uh, if rows is zero that means none of the rows was updated so that means the like there was any uh, mistake in the query okay and uh, what could be the mistake in the query that is the input that we are taking okay the input that we are taking that is the condition is false okay so that means the input is not present in our uh, table okay so uh, either the book id that is uh, being given by the admin or the name given by the admin is not same as any of the uh, names or book ids present in the table okay so uh, in that case uh, we will get rows as zero. So for rows greater than zero, uh, the like this query will be automatically executed over here. See, it will be executed and the number of rows affected will be returned over here. Okay. So if it is greater than zero, that means we uh, we understand that the the query has already been updated. Uh, I mean uh, executed and the rows has already been updated. So we will show a message as uh, big, uh, book removed from library. Okay. So J option pane dot show message dialog uh, this book removed from library. And uh, otherwise, if rows is zero, then we will show a message that no such book is available. Okay. No such book available in the library. And then we'll close the statement SPM dot close. Okay. So this was the tribe log. And in the cache block, we'll just uh, show a uh, adequate message. Okay. Uh, so yeah, J option pane dot show message dialog. This e dot get message. It will automatically create print a uh, like uh, message. Okay, appropriate message to the admin. And then the cancel button. So the code for cancel button is just this one line. Uh, that this dot dispose it will just uh, uh, terminate that window okay and uh, we need to after terminating this window we need to go back to the dashboard okay so for that we'll have to uh, use this method over here okay i've already uh, told you about this in our previous video so set default close operation remove books dot dispose on close okay so remove books is the class name that we are working in so uh, this is the method and in the dashboard when we click on remove books we must go to the uh, remove books uh, window okay so for that we will have to give a code uh, that is over here let me show you remove books so here we will create an object remove books remove is equals to remove new remove books and uh, this object uh, so remove dot set visible and true okay so yeah and in the next video we will be like we will be uh, working on remove staff okay so uh, yeah in, the, uh, in this video we saw remove books and in the next video, we will see remove star. So, thank you.